Um, yes. Okay, so our, we were, um, Louise, no, how do we start? I don't remember. I think we were, well, I'll start. So it'll be Ronnie, Judy, Louise, Renee. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. all right. So I'm gonna start the story. He put his cupped right hand to his mouth and almost burped. It was so awkward because he had drank too fast and he was overcome with bubbles and, 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 and yes. Louise, your turn. So he really felt terrible, but there was no one there to help him except his dog. Could it have been the dog food that he ate by mistake? He thought about it and he said, no, I had a pretty good lunch, uh, but maybe, maybe it was all that Perrier water I drank. But what he really needs is a ginger ale or an alpha seltzer. Something just is, 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 is troubling his, and he's getting some, 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 digestion problems and he needs to find, he, well, he's struggling to find some, some alpha cells. Mm. Well, his dog saw him and he knew his master was in trouble. So he just kept on barking. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, a dog barked. Okay. <laughs> All right. Does anybody have a, a, a book candy that isn't um, a how-to book, which is mostly what I have in my house, it seems, like a novel or um, a mystery like that? I do. Yeah. All right. See if, and you do too, Judy? I, I don't make, have anything good. I'm sorry. What, uh, what about you, Louise? Do you have any books handy? Yeah. All right, pick. All right, so between Louise and Renee, come up with a first sentence and a last sentence, and let's see what we can do with that. There was an all night taco truck in a parking lot at Sunset and Western. All right, so you'll start reading that. Okay, and everybody's going to write down Louise's sentence, which is. He told me he had a car and offered to give me a ride when I need it. He told me he had a car and offered to, to give, give me when I need it. Ride when I need it. Okay, so let's go with the same order, which is. Um, Okay, I got it. There was an all night taco truck in a parking lot at Sunset and Western. He thought, well, it is 3 a.m. Am I really hungry? Oh, definitely. I, you know, I, 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 I just couldn't sleep and I, I, I burst out of my house and, 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 and was looking for something to eat outside because I was starving. I was so glad when I saw the taco truck. I guess me, but I really felt like sardines. <laughs> Luckily, this taco truck also sold Alka-Seltzer. Boy, did my stomach hurt. 
I thought, I don't want sardines or tacos. What should I do? I couldn't help myself. I, against my better judgment, I got sardines and tacos. And I ran into the man with the gas and, and, and we started eating together. And, 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 and we both started burping and we couldn't stop. Sorry. And that's in character. <laughs> so I couldn't really? stop singing and I started choking. <laughs> Three people, this is my turn, yes. Three mm -hmm. people ran and pounded Louise's back so that she would stop choking the poor thing. I wasn't sure what to do watching all of this. Um, and I thought maybe I should get some help. Well, the guy with the gas happened to have some Alka-Seltzer on him, but we couldn't stop eating the tacos and sardines. So in between burping, we just kept eating because we were so hungry and, and couldn't just love the tacos and sardines so much. <laughs> but, however, a man, another man came, al came along and offered me a ride. And that was not the whole sentence, but I don't know. If they oh, okay, Renee, you can give the last sentence then. You mean that wasn't the last sentence? Not exactly. But I don't remember it already. No, he told me he had a car and offered to give me a ride when I needed it. But I was told never get into a car with a strange man. <laughs> well, I wasn't afraid to because I figured with the sardine breath, no one was going to bother me. <laughs> That's right. And then somewhere off in the distance, a dog barked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why don't we finish up with um, phony experts? Because we like that That's one. That's a good one, yeah. All right, again, yeah. reminder, we all know the rules, right? I think everybody else knows them, so we're, we're good. Um, so we got two and two. So um, who wants to be in the first group? I'll be in the first group. Okay. All right, I'll be in it with you. So, um, so Judy and Louise, can you come up with what we're experts as? Well, I think it's a good idea if um, you could be experts at um, making a, a, a delectable feast. Okay, oh. I'm so glad you asked us. Mm -hmm. We are the delectable feast experts that have just come to your town and we are going to present a delectable feast. Isn't that right, Renee? It is. And my specialty is gathering greens from the empty lots and converted them, converting them into wonderful vegetarian delicacies. Absolutely. Delectable delicacies. In fact, that's the name of our company. So remember that, write that down. Delectable, de I can't even say it, but delectable <laughs> delicacies. Uh, uh, do you have any questions for us? Well, yes, I, wa I want to know about uh, your delicacies and recipes. And yes, tell me about them. Well, we are known, not only are we known for our, del del <laughs> <laughs> our delicacies, we are, you know, the DDs, we are also dumpster divers. And so all of our food, as delectable as they are, come from local dumpsters. Right, Renee? Oh. That is correct. We try to find stuff 
well-rotted kind of, so it has the correct aroma. And then Perfect. we add things that we've picked like skunk cabbage, thistles, crunchy stuff like that. You know, I right. have a question. Yes, yes, please. Isn't it true that you're the, an expert at um, gourmet meals out of compost bins? You've heard our, our reputation precedes us, doesn't it? Uh, absolutely. Um, our compost compositions are absolutely delectable uh, and very ecological as well. We particularly like what we've done with um, leftover chicken soup. It, 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 it makes the most delicious stew. Isn't that right? Yes, I like to pour leftover chicken soup over well rotted mushrooms and squeezed out ketchup package. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. We, 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 we like to go to various diners and pick up the little packets of mayonnaise and mustard. And once in a while, if we're really lucky, we'll have a little bit of peanut butter as well. And that, that really is the piece de resistance. I, I'm so thrilled. Yes, Louise, you have a, a question? Yes, I would like to know your health department rating. <laughs> well, you know, as I said, we're, we're new to your town and we tend to skip well, leave town in time before the health inspectors come. So we really, you know, we, we have a, you know, a, what do they call that? Like a, a, a tentative rating, but we've never quite had a, a, a full accurate rating. So we don't really worry about it because we don't stay around long enough. That's why we wear roller skates all the time. Mm -hmm. So that, so we can escape quickly before those nosy inspectors get too close. I've, I've yeah. seen your infomercials where you say one man's trash is another man's gourmet meal. And I just love it. Oh, thank you so much. We're very, we worked a long time on that, that commercial. Uh, and um, we're very pleased with, with how it came out and that you've actually seen it, even though I know it's only on at 3.15 a.m. You must not sleep very well, but that's okay. Yeah, well, uh, I usually have stomach aches at that time from, you know, eating, you know, but uh, yeah, the, it, it, I, it warms my heart to see your, your infomercial. We are, well, seek, we are seeking the sponsorship of the Acme Garbage Car Carding Company and they seem to be very interested. Yes, they are. They really are. And um, we couldn't be happier because they, they have a national franchise. So we will be able to go to far more cities and, and, and small towns, really. Um, and the Acme people have just been fabulous. Um, did you have another question? I see your hand up, Louise. Yes. Have you thought of going to the insane asylum? Well, actually, this is where we got our start. I don't know if you read about that, but Renee and I met while we were roommates at at um, at an asylum, and um, it was great because they, you know, we they gave us things to do, and um, I thought. I can cook. And but, 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 but they wouldn't let us have knives. No, no, no. That's why our team we work with is already um, dumpster size. You know, it's small enough that we don't, we can, it's anything we can tear. And we tear a lot of things with our teeth. Yes, yes, right, right, yeah. And, and I know we're missing a few, but you know, it, it, it works out well. I think we've had enough though. <laughs> Are there special outfits for dumpster diving? Oh. Well, we, we use the uniforms from the asylum. 
and, and rain galoshes. Yes, always galoshes. And, and of course, we must have gloves to protect us. And Do you want masks? A secret recipe. Masks <laughs> depends if we've been vaccinated or not. <laughs> and what's your favorite recipe? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. We have well, many. Or to yeah, choose. but um, since we're talking about really compost heaps, I have to be very careful because I don't like to find little shreds of eggshells in my teeth. Oh, that yeah. really annoys no, me a no. lot. I know, me too, you know, that's how I wound up in the asylum because <laughs> I had a piece of eggshell in my egg salad and I, I went bonkers and my family committed me. Well, lucky for me, that's how I met you. That was Isn't fun. Amazing. I'm so glad to know both of you. Made in <laughs> All right, we have like 10 minutes or less for the next group. We don't want to not have you do it. It's actually eight minutes, but yes. Eight uh, minutes, okay. Whatever. I want to okay. say, I, I want to say something. Um, I think you did a great job. However, <laughs> I love it. I don't think that you were doing experts. I think you were doing world's worst. No, 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 no. Well, it's a combination. <laughs> we were expert at being world's worst. Yeah. All right. Uh, very good. All right. So well, don't Renee, not I, worst. All right. So we, we only have um, a few minutes now. So we want to give Judy and, and, um, and Louise. Louise a chance. So um, you can be... Uh, Renee, you have such a good imagination. Come up with something. What are they experts as? Oh, um, I I think you you should be vendors at a street fair. Okay, that's that's mild. Yeah, <laughs> <Back> to <laughs> where we've been. Okay, all depends right, what so, you're selling. <laughs> all right, so that's true. So here are Louise and and Judy, who's going to present their expertise on being vendors at street fairs? Hmm. Well, it's almost like, um, you know, an episode of Carnival Eats. Uh, we, we try to get attention and be as outrageous as possible. And we have to like uh, get people's attention, get people to want our food and then get the money fast. And um, we, We've been cooking um, corn cobs wrapped in bacon. Wow. But, but the big problem was we picked the wrong location because we went straight to Borough Park in the <laughs> religious section and somehow <laughs> it didn't work out. Do you think it was the bacon? It was they kept saying trafe, trafe, trafe. I, but I thought you guys invented kosher bacon. Isn't that true? Yeah, we have. Well, we, it's true. We have turkey bacon. Um, but we were wrapping the corn in uh, turkey bacon and cheese. And we, it, it didn't dawn on us until afterwards that melting the cheese with turkey bacon was not going to be good in, a, in, in borrowed pork because it's just even though the bacon is turkey bacon, it's, it's not kosher to mix it with, with dairy. So is it true that based upon that, you now are experts in knowing where not to go? This is true, very true. Yes, yes. Louise, is it true that before becoming food purveyors, you were the Schmata Queens of Long Island? Oh, yes. Yeah. That is true. That is absolutely true. Oh my and, God. I I rem oh, I was such a fan for so long. The Schmata Queens. You you were famous all over my town. Oh my God. How did you become Schmata Queens? Well, there was a, a shortage of masks and we used underpants from from, from the thrift store. To, to cut, you know, as masks for people, and and they loved it, so they were buying them from us. 
Wow. And I understand that you do the reverse now and you make the, the masks into shmatas. Is that true? Yes, it is true. And, and because um, Louise knows how to sew very well and she, 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 she's able to do it. We, we even have a patchwork quilt of it. My God, my, my heroines. Can I have your autograph? Absolutely. Oh, uh, yes. Can you Will sign it? Mata? Yes, we'll embroider them. <gasps> yes. Oh, oh my yes. dream. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell all my friends that I met the Schmata Queens. And we've got real Mitzias for you. You know, real bargains. Oh? Yes. And you, and, don't and, even have, you don't even have to use American money. You can even give us Canadian money or pesos, you know. Or, or some, um, we'll, we'll take some of your food from, from, from the recycling bin. Oh my gosh, that's, that's terrific. We're so excited about meeting you guys. And, and so what else are you selling other than the, the turkey bacon cheese stuff? Well, we, we have a special contract with Weight Watchers because uh, we were able to find um, that we, we, we found food that fits into their point system. And we actually, we have, we found a way to have unlimited corn and bacon because uh, that if you cook the bacon a certain way, it counts more as a vegetable than as a meat. <laughs> and, and have people lost weight on this program? Well, that's the problem. After the projectile vomiting, they really do. <laughs> <laughs> and and do you do you, do you have any keto friendly food? Um, yes, yes. We 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 try to have like no carbs, like really high fat, and uh. We, we've even been endorsed by some of the um, heart surgeons. <laughs> because, because we they, drum up we, they were thanking us for giving them customers. Oh, wow. Wow. And, and, and tell me, what is your favorite um, meal that you do prepare that you've had success with? Louise. Are you, are you I want to hear this, Louise. Yes, yes, I, I, I'm thinking about it. Um, well, uh, well, we like to make candy, especially taffy. <laughs> taffy. <laughs> Goddamn taffy still around. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and with sardines and bacon. Oh my God, here comes a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The dogs are barking at it. <laughs> I think we got to stop. <laughs> Take Bye -bye. care, everyone. I'll see you at the very, very next meeting and have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Take care. Bye.